once again catching up on videos from or games rather from about a month or so ago um, this was right after i got my t54e1 i think this was the first day i actually had it so this would have been my first 10 or so games in this tank playing with assassinated who is also in a 54e1 and with french army who's in a 1390 doing an autoloader platoon now, I'd had a really bad start in this tank, like absolutely atrocious. I had quite decent damage per game, but an absolutely terrible win rate because every game my team went out of their way to throw the match. This, I think, was actually my only my first or second win in the tank. But um, since then, I've managed to fix things a little. I've got a decent win rate, although my damage per game has gone down slightly. Um, couple quick things about the T54E1. Four shot auto, uh, auto loader does 390 damage per shot and it has rather poor pen. 210 AP, 255 APCR. That's not that great. It's closer to what you would expect from a tier 8 heavy than a tier 9 medium. It isn't completely useless though because being an autoloader and being fairly mobile, it's able to get beside and behind things and just dump clip into them. Aside from that, that does actually go a lot further than the numbers suggest. So here, I equip my first shot, get one into the 54, put my last into the highest state. Sometimes you can't always get the shots you'd like, so you have to switch targets and just spread the damage around. It's ideal to be able to just clip one target down, but if you can't do it, you may as well just put out the herd as much as you possibly can. Here I'm referencing the fact that a couple of matches before this, I had a team which was basically one for one with the enemy, uh, and then I went to go get a drink because I'd been killed because I was left unsupported on a flank. And when I came back, I found out we had lost because my entire team had suicided into a single enemy E50 and given him the best game of his life and a pools medal. Here you can see the rather unimpressive pen being a problem against an IS-8 simply because of the angle he was at. I was hitting his pike uh, from dead in front. So the actual thickness of the armor combined with its effective thickness from angling was just too much for the gun there. I did manage to clean up T-54 though, as he was actually still a threat to me. So here are Tiger 1 suicides. I know that T-69's out, but I don't want the IS-8 pushing on me, so I duck back around until I'm loaded. And then I jump out and dive on him. Meanwhile the 1390 on the enemy team bounces a shot off my back. I was going to push in on the T-69 here, I didn't realise this T-44 was still alive. It catches me at the worst possible time, and here I thought I was screwed. Thankfully, I got some Guardian Angels in the form of our team Centurion and also Assassinated. Sent cleans up the T-44 with a really nice shot, and then Assassinated takes out the T-69 right as it's about to load again. I push on to the enemy base, but the AMX 1390 pops up. I know he's going to go for me, and here is some quick math. He has 294 hit points. I know that the lowest this gun can possibly roll if it pens him is 293. So, outside of an absolute minimum roll, or a zero damage track, or a miss, I cannot fail to kill him in one shot. I have not very long left on my reload, I think about five seconds or so, I know he's loaded, I know he's going to go for me, and I know he has time to get two shots into me. Now, his gun does, I think, 240 odd damage per shot, so unless he high rolls, I should be able to survive two shots from him and still have health left over. Let's see how this works out. It pays to be able to do math on the fly.
With the only real threat to my existence dealt with, I head up into the enemy base. Now, I could get on the cap, but there's not really any point. My team is quite comfortably handling the enemy team, and I would like everyone to get a little more experience out of this match. Unfortunately, the T29 dives into cover there and doesn't come back out. Now, I'm not going to go through the cap, because that would let the enemy know there is something in their base, and from where I was last spotted, they would have a pretty good idea of what. Instead, I bypass the cap, try and stay where I've got actual uh, rocks between myself and the 704's last spotted position. Here I was looking for a little gap to shoot through with the 29's, but there wasn't one. So I turn towards the east and head for the ramp where I can get shots from. I was planning on waiting for my platoon mates to bait the object into firing so he'd be spotted or move out of position, but in fact he's actually already out of position. He manages to fuck up a shot there and assassinated, and so I get a couple decent hits in. My last shot was a bit too close to his gun there, but though. Just shy of 5k damage, and just shy of getting myself blown up, we managed to win the match, and as I said, I think that was only my first or second win in this tank, and it was something I sorely needed. The T54E1 is quite a nice tank. Um, some people aren't so hot on it, just because it has rather poor pen. Um, but when you stop and think about it, the thing has 390 alpha. Now, four 390 damage shots hitting you in the space of about 8 seconds, that's not really something you want. That's quite a nasty burst. Compared to other autoloaders which do less damage per shot but have more shells, this thing actually I think is scarier because you have a chance to get away from an AMX 1390 or a Lorraine or whatever else. This thing, it, it's doing so much more damage per hit. It doesn't need to hit you five or six times to wipe out most of your health. It only needs to hit you three or four times, which it is entirely capable of doing. So, perhaps not a very popular tank, um, given that it's bracketed by the excellent T69 and the absolutely absurd T57, but definitely a fun tank, and of course it's one I'll keep since I keep most of them, but it's also one I will continue to play long after I get the T57.